Hello everyone, welcome to this tutorial on parsing data. In this tutorial, we will learn to download FASTA and GenBank files from NCBI database website and parse data files using functions in sequence input output module. To follow this tutorial, you should be familiar with undergraduate biochemistry or bioinformatics and basic Python programming. Refer to the Python tutorials at the given link. To record this tutorial, I am using Ubuntu operating system version 14.10, Python version 2.7.8, IPython interpreter version 2.3.0, BioPython version 1.64 and Mozilla Firefox browser 35.0. Scientific data in biology is generally stored in text files such as FASTA, GenBank, EMPL, SwissProt, etc. Data files can be downloaded from the database websites. Open the website link given below in any web browser. A web page opens. Let us download FASTA and GenBank files for human insulin gene. In the search box, type human insulin. Click on search button. The web page shows many files for human insulin gene. For demonstration, I will select four files with name Homo sapiens insulin mRNA. I will choose files that have less than 500 base pairs. Click on the checkbox to select the file to download. Bring the cursor to the Send to option located at the top right corner of the page. Click on the small selection button with a down arrow present next to Send to button. Under the heading Choose Destination, click on File option. You can save this file in any file format listed under Format drop down list box. Choose FASTA from the given options. Then Click on Create File option. A dialog box appears on the screen. Select Open with. Click on OK. A file opens in a text editor. The file shows four records. Since we had selected four files to download. The first line in each record is an identifier line. It starts with a greater than symbol. This is followed by a sequence. Save the file in your home folder as sequence.fasta. Close the text editor. Follow the same steps as above to download the files in GenBank format for the same file selected earlier. Select the file format as GenBank. Create a file. Open with the text editor. Notice that the sequence file in GenBank format has more features than a FASTA file. Save the file as sequence.gb in your home folder. Close the text editor. For demonstration purpose, we need a FASTA file with a single record. For this, clear the earlier selection by again clicking on the checkboxes. Now, select the file human insulin gene complete CDS. Click on the checkbox and follow the same steps shown earlier to save the file in the home folder. Save the file as insulin.fasta. Biological data stored in these files can be extracted and modified using BioPython libraries. Close the text editor. Extracting data from data files is called as parsing. Most file formats can be parsed using functions available in SEQIO module. Most commonly used functions of SEQIO module are parse, read, write and convert. Open the terminal by pressing Ctrl, Alt and T keys simultaneously. Start IPython by typing IPython at the prompt. Press Enter. Next. Import SEQIO module from bio package. At the prompt, type from bio import SEQIO. 
Press enter. We will start with the most important function parse. For demonstration, I will use the FASTA file that has many records which we had downloaded earlier from the database. For simple FASTA parsing, type the following at the prompt. Here, we are using the parse function to read the contents of the sequence.fasta file. For the output, print record ID, the sequence present in the record, and also the length of the sequence. Also, notice that the parse function is used to read sequence data as sequence record objects. It is generally used with a for loop. It can accept two arguments. The first one is the file name to read the data. The second specifies the file format. Press enter key twice to get the output. The output shows the identifier line followed by the sequence contained in the file, also the length of the sequence for all records in the file. Notice that the FASTA format does not specify the alphabet. So, the output does not specify it as a DNA sequence. The same steps can be repeated for parsing GenBank file. For demonstration, we will use the GenBank file which we have downloaded earlier from the database. Press up arrow key to get the lines of code which we had used earlier. Change the file name to sequence.gb. Change the file format to GenBank. The rest of the code remains same. Press enter key twice to get the output. Here too, the output shows the record ID, sequence and the length of the sequence for all the records in the file. Notice that the GenBank format specifies the sequence as DNA sequence. Similarly, Swissprot and EMBL files can be parsed using the same code as above. If your file contains a single record, then type the following lines for parsing. Here, we will use the previously saved FASTA file with a single record that is insulin.fasta as an example. Notice that we have used read function instead of parse function. Press enter. The output shows the contents for the file insulin.fasta. It shows the sequence as sequence record object and other attributes such as GI, accession number and description. We can also view individual attributes of this record as follows. At the prompt, type record.seq. Press enter. The output shows the sequence present in the file. To view the identifiers for this record, type record.id, press enter. The output shows the GI number and accession number, etc. You can use the function described above to parse the data files of your choice. Now, let's summarize. In this tutorial, we have learnt to download FASTA and GenBank files from NCBI database website and use parse and read functions from the SEQIO module to extract data such as record IDs, description and sequences from FASTA and GenBank files. Now for the assignment. Download FASTA files for nucleotide sequence of your choice from NCBI database. Convert the file of sequences to their reverse complements. Your completed assignment should have the following lines of code. Use parse function to load nucleotide sequences from the FASTA file. Next, print the reverse complements using the sequence objects built-in reverse complement method. Video at the following link summarizes the Spoken Tutorial project. Please download and watch it. The Spoken Tutorial project team conducts workshops and gives certificates to those who pass an online test. For more details, please write to us. The Spoken Tutorial project is funded by NMEICT MHRD Government of India. 
More information on this mission is available at the link shown. This is Nehalata from IIT Bombay signing off. Thank you for joining.